Skywatch Media News for September the 9th, 2020. A few weeks ago, an extraordinary occurrence took place in a remote farming town in northeastern Brazil. Hundreds of fragments of a passing meteor fell like rain from the sky on the village of Santa Filomena, captured by live communication cameras located across various locations in the state of Pernambuco. The meteorites that fell to Earth in Brazil are believed to be a rare type of chondrite, dating back to the origins of the solar system, long before the Earth was formed. There are about 27,000 chondrites in the world's collection, but only about 2% of all of the fallen chondrite meteorites are of this type. Because these rocks are so rare, a specimen can sell for tens of thousands of dollars. As many as 200 meteorite fragments that fell from the sky on August the 19th have been discovered so far in remote northeastern Brazil. The largest fragment discovered weighed 84 pounds, with a net worth of over $26,000. For the villagers, this would amount to 10 years worth of their annual salary. The impact of this meteorite left behind a two-foot deep pit where it fell. Locals living near the vicinity of this bean planting region of Brazil originally referred to the meteorite storm as the day when money fell from the sky. Since most of the biggest rocks were discovered around this church in Santa Filomena, the locals now refer to the rare meteorite event as a miracle from the heavens. A 20-year-old student from Santa Filomena described his experience on that day when the meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere. He said the sky filled with smoke. He then goes on to say, Shortly thereafter, I began receiving Facebook messages from villagers saying that stones were falling from the sky. I went out to the street and found this meteorite next to the Catholic Church on the main square. It wasn't long after word spread of the meteorite storm that space rock hunters from other parts of Brazil, as well as professional collectors from Uruguay and North America, began descending upon this remote part of Brazil. One of the meteorites weighing just over six pounds was negotiated by Brazil's National Museum for around 20,000 U.S. dollars. There is a fear among Brazilian historians that Americans will outbid the museum's offer and that the stone will be shipped out of Brazil. Most importantly, this is a meteorite that could tell us so much about how the universe was formed. The demand for these space rocks is so intense at this time that the going price has risen to nearly $7 per gram. Meteorites are a rare substance. They are referred to as the gold mantle of science. They are worth a great deal of money for those that are fortunate enough to wander upon them. The meteorites created a frenzy among collectors and researchers because of their demand. But there are few Brazilians who can afford the price tag. So foreigners with all the money buy them up, take them elsewhere, 
and sell them for profit. The chondrite meteorites that fell on Brazil are rare because only a fraction of all of the discovered chondrite meteorites on this planet are known to be this type of meteorite, which are called enstatite or e-type. These rocks are comprised of a silicate material that melted as it was floating in space. They are thought to represent material from the asteroid belt that had never developed into larger bodies. They are uniquely important because, like comets, they are among the oldest objects in the solar system, and they help in understanding the origin and the age of the universe. The largest chondrite ever found weighed 3,400 pounds. It originated from the Hylian meteorite storm that occurred over China in March of the year 1976. You cannot blame the residents of Santa Filomena from wanting to become instantly rich. But how ironic that a gift from the heavens, described as a miracle by the villagers, should as quickly as it fell from the sky be whisked up by hunters looking to make a profit. If there is a hidden message in all of this excitement, maybe it is that we humans still have a lot to learn about ourselves and how much we genuinely value the uniquely divine gifts that we receive. Now take a look at this image captured by a Russian astronaut aboard the International Space Station on August the 19th, just prior to the Aurora Borealis passing over the Antarctic. At the 10 to 12 second time frame of the video, there appears to be a series of objects passing alongside with about equal distance between them. The time-lapse presentation by itself displays the beautiful motion of the Aurora Borealis, but watch closely and you will see the appearance of the strange formation. What I found to be so intriguing about the video footage over Antarctica is that it took place during the early morning of August the 19th, and it was posted on social media at 5.24 a.m., which is interesting to know because this would have been just a few hours prior to the meteor that was photographed moving to the west over northeastern Brazil at 10.18 a.m. local time that morning. Is there a connection involving the Brazilian meteorites? It may be a coincidence, but then again, it may hold a clue as to what was seen aboard the International Space Station on the morning of August the 19th. At the moment, the appearance of these objects on video is inconclusive, and the video has been forwarded to the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences for additional analysis. Here is something that you can do when feeling a little down in these trying times. If you happen to be outside during the twilight hours, spend a moment gazing at the setting sun and the evening sky. It is there waiting for you to take notice. It is here that you will find peace with yourself and with the world. Know that your life is as amazing as you want it to be, but first, you have to let it be that way. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.